So hi, Micro Punter here again and uh, today a slightly different setting because I wanted to show you how you can use a mobile phone uh, to take pictures uh, through the microscope without using a mobile phone adapter. I recently received one of those questions, I think it's a good, uh, that's a good point. Uh, because uh, yeah, you might not have a mobile phone adapter available or maybe um, you're also a student in the classroom working with a microscope, you'd like to take some pictures but you don't have an adapter available. So the question is, is it possible uh, to use uh, a mobile phone with a microscope without an adapter? Of course it's possible. It is not quite as convenient. You need a lot of patience uh, but uh, I'm going to show you a little trick today um, and some uh, tips on how you can get the best images. Now the thing is the following that's really important if you want to get a, a picture using a mobile phone camera then honestly you need a very steady hand because what you have to do is, is you have to of course uh, center the camera lens over the eyepiece uh, not only in an x and a y manner but also the tilt uh, has to be correct and also and this is where it's getting difficult also the, the distance. And it's almost impossible, at least I'm not able to do this. You cannot hold it like, like this with even with two hands, it's not going to be steady enough. Um, and then at the same time, you want to concentrate on the picture. Um, of course, you cannot even adjust anything on the microscope because you have only have two hands. Um, so what do you do? Okay, so I'm, I'm going to show this uh, to you now uh, a possibility, how it actually works. And uh, the disadvantage of this method is, is that it's not suitable for video. Um, individual pictures, yes, but even this method that I'm going to show you um, will probably not allow you to hold it sufficiently steady to make longer videos. Short video clips might work, okay? So what do we do? So everything's set up. I see everything in focus here. And um, of course I have to turn on my camera and uh, then uh, you see the picture over here. And then you have to, um, of course, uh, try to find uh, the center. And this is already quite difficult because if you're just off a little bit, you're not able to see um, anything. So I'm going to now rotate this around so that you're able to see this a little bit better. Um, okay, um, so the tilt has to be correct, uh, it has to be centered um, and also the distance and that's very difficult, okay. So and now I have to do everything at the same time and if I try to do it like this, okay, um, yeah, until I find it, it's, it's uh, very difficult, okay. So generally what people will now do is, is uh, in order to steady everything, they will sometimes put the camera lens directly on the microscope eyepiece. Uh, they're going to rest it right on here. Um, and this is in many cases is not going to work and the reason is is because the distance is too close and you know that this is not going to work because you only see a small spot here um, and you do not see the full field of view yeah so you're too close if you're too far away you have the same problem okay um, in, so that is already an issue. Um, some uh, microscope eyepieces have this rubber cup here uh, for, for the eyes um, and this might also uh, be useful and might work but sometimes if you have this rubber cup here, the slightly better microscopes sometimes have that, then the distance might be again a little bit uh, too far away so what you have to do is you have to bend the rubber cup back. I, I don't have a microscope now that uh, has this where I can show it to you uh, but I just wanted to tell you the distance is really important. So what do you do? So that's basically what you've been kind of waiting for now is what you do is, is I suggest that you do the following. Let me turn this around. Um, you take, uh, yeah, uh, I'm right handed so I'm going to use my right hand. Okay. And what you do is you take the other hand and you wrap your fingers um, around the eyepiece like this so that there is a distance. Okay. Maybe again back. Okay. Um, so you see that uh, the fingers are extending over the eyepiece. Not, not down here, not, not too far up but a few millimeters um, up here. And then what you do is, is once you've done that, you rest, you just rest your, uh, your, your camera, uh, micro, uh, your mobile phone um, on your fingers, okay? And that by adjusting the fingers like this, you can also adjust the distance and then you can use your other finger to release uh, the shutter button, okay? And now if this is uh, too cumbersome, you can also try it like this, okay? And then you put just two fingers over it and rest it, that's also gonna work. And then you kind of slide backwards until you found the the center here and even I have a problem right now okay and uh, yeah and when you see that it's too close or that it's not quite in the middle I'm going to show you over here again I'm going to turn this around and um, if it is not quite in the middle yeah um, then yeah like uh, now you see all of the reflection a little bit <laughs> see it's, it's so difficult for me as well um, then um, you have to tilt it and then the the, the circle the field of view is going to move again into the center now I cannot even show it to you now Okay, no, I, I don't even see it myself now. Yeah, the point is, if the circle is not in the center, you have to adjust the tilt. 
Okay, that is it. That, that's the thing. Many people uh, want to move it uh, horizontally if it's not in the uh, center, but that's not the way it goes. You have to, you have to, uh, um, yeah, uh, adjust the tilt. And then uh, when um, the everything is set up properly and when the distance is correct, so look, I'm, I'm now using my thumb to lift it. Okay, I'm using my thumb now to lift it. I can see that the picture is now, um, yeah, nice. And then I can release the shutter. Yeah. Okay. And now the phone switched off. You get the idea. <laughs> Let's try it again. Um, okay. Um, so I'm trying to adjust the distance here a little bit. Now I'm using my thumb. Okay. Now everything is clear and I press the shutter. Okay. Um, what you can also do is, is you can of course also zoom in first. That's also possible. Okay. You zoom in and, and then you can also uh, uh, try this. Uh, but I, I would say don't, it's not necessary because it's only a digital zoom and you can always uh, crop out uh, the picture later on in a photo editing program. So zooming in really you don't gain anything um, and maybe later on you simply have more flexibility anyway. Yeah, so that is simply the, the tip that I can give you. Either you use two fingers or you wrap it around here um, but you need some kind of a rest and then you use your fingers to adjust the distance. Yeah? Um, and uh, sometimes I would say that this might even be faster ironically, and then using an adapter because uh, you also have to adjust everything using an adapter. And if you only want to take a few pictures, it might simply not be worth it. Um, and I've seen that even with many uh, mobile phone adapters, um, they're so sensitive that uh, if not, if everything is not completely lined up, uh, then you also have a problem. So what I suggest is, is if you have a mobile phone adapter, buy yourself a separate eyepiece, um, adjust it, everything and center everything using the separate eyepiece um, so that you can simply exchange the whole system uh, yeah, and simply drop in the, uh, the mobile phone into the adapter and then you can, uh, and you have already the adapter lined up with the eyepiece and all you have to do is adjust the eyepiece. Yeah? The system is so sensitive, however, that even the small wiggle that you see here, which is the normal uh, tolerance that you have, even the small wiggle actually might cause you the picture to um, yeah, not be completely centered anymore or yeah, and, and cause problems. So it, it's that sensitive and for this reason um, I would say that you have uh, the best uh, system is, is to use trial and error and simply take um, as many pictures as you can and then um, simply select those that actually have a, a, an image uh, that is usable. Okay, so I, I think I'm just gonna gonna leave it at that um, and uh, yeah I hope it was more more or less useful uh, this video here. Thank you again for the question of course. Um, yeah, happy microbe hunting and see you around next time. Bye-bye.